So the next question we have is what dosage, and this is from Marty, uh, what dosage do you use for osteoarthritis? So dosage, uh, that's a good question. Dosage is a very important question. And we, in physics and um, magnetic field therapy, we actually call it dosimetry, which is basically the concept of dose. Dose is um, based on several ideas. It's not just the intensity. It's the intensity delivered over a period of time and then repeated. So what's the total dose? The total dose is not just the intensity. It's how long you use it for at a given treatment session. And then how many times do you repeat that? And the answer is whatever works. So what's your dose? Whatever works. To go back to another concept we talked about in a previous uh, show, uh, a webinar a session, was the idea of um, how quickly you're going to get results. And that's the inverse square law and the amount of uh, the depth that you have to go into, into, into the body. So the, the worse the arthritis, the more time you're going to need to do to take to treat. So the dose then becomes higher, much higher. If you have very mild, very uh, gentle, just beginning stages of arthritis, that you may not need as high a dose. You may not, not need to, uh, to treat as much. You could get by with a low intensity system, 100 gauss, 200 gauss, and use it only for half an hour at a time. If you're bone on bone with your arthritis, then you're probably gonna need to treat a lot more. You're gonna need to treat as much as you need to treat to get relief from your, from your issues. A relief with pain, relief with um, range of motion. How, how easily can you move those, uh, those joints? Can you get a full range of motion in that joint or are you limited in how much you can move it? Well, as you start doing magnetic field therapy, the range of motion improves, the strength improves. In other words, you have less pain when you actually try to use that joint. Uh, you get less swelling in the joint and the swelling causes limitations in the movement and also comfort and discomfort. So whatever you need. The, the thing about most PEMF systems, even very high intensity magnetic systems, is it's very, very, very hard to overdose. So most people tend to underdose. That's the problem that most people have, is they don't do enough. They don't have high enough intensity, and they don't treat enough. What, what Treating enough means how much time do you have. So depending on the system you have, if you have a very high intensity system like a Tesla Fit Plus 2 um, or a ParMed's Flash, then you don't need to treat as much. You may get away with half an hour a day. but what often happens, and this happens in physical therapy, if you do physical therapy, you have intensity treat, an intense course of treatment at the beginning. You might do three sessions a week. And then after several weeks, you're showing improvement, you're improving range of motion, you're decreasing pain and discomfort, then you start to decrease the number of treatments. Are you done yet? Osteoarthritis is a lifetime problem. It's not curable. It might be in a guinea pig, but it isn't in a human. Most humans come to magnetic field therapy late in the process where you've decided I've had enough I've had enough pain I've had enough discomfort now I want to do something uh, more more for it and I don't want to take ibuprofen which causes gastric bleeding I don't want to take opioids I don't want to do all the drugs that doctors are recommending for me so I'm going to do magnetic therapy that's great I agree with that because the magnetic therapy at least allows some degree of healing especially if you start it early in the osteoarthritis process so Osteoarthritis is one of the key indicators for PMF therapy, but you have to have the right machine and use it the right way at the right dose. I recommend for arthritis, again, most of the time for most people, I recommend a minimum of half an hour twice a day. But that's not half an hour twice a day to the whole body. That's a half an hour, you might need half an hour for each joint. What a lot of people do is they take a magnetic field, they put it on the body for 10 minutes, and then they move to the next joint for 10 minutes. You're not going to get a lot of benefit by doing that because the tissue needs to be stimulated to produce changes, to get healing to happen. So this is not simple technology. It's simple, but it's not simple. And again, most people tend to underestimate what they need to do. If you have a lot of arthritis in different parts of the body, what I would do is I would take the joints that need the most work and spend the most time with those joints first and then move to other joints as you need to. But moving it from place to place to place in the same treatment session, you're going to be disappointed in your results because you're not going to get deep enough healing work going on to really help you. 
Um, so it, it doesn't matter where in the body you're treating. Same, same issues apply to virtually any problem for that matter. 